This is my Nova Vulcan DVR, purchased near the end of April 2019. You're looking at the table, which is the second table that I received. Both the first table and the second table have the same problem. And what caused me to ask to have it replaced is that the shape of the T-slot in the table on all four of the uh, openings is not correct and is not finished as a machined surface. It's an as-cast surface. So it doesn't fit and it doesn't have bearing surfaces that work well with the T-slot nuts which are 5 eighths inch wide and 16 millimeter wide, both the same, both fit this table. So I'm going to show you that problem and then I'm also going to show you how it might be corrected. You're looking at one of the T-slot nuts with stud attached on the slot I've identified as number one with the one dot. You can see that the well-defined shape of the T-slot nut is not at all conforming to the irregular non-machine shape of the T-slot in the table. And just to pull it up, you can see how badly that fit is. Let me go to the second one. And on the second one, I've actually put red down on the bearing surface of the T-slot nut. And you can see the outline of the surface in the table, which defines the slot. And this really highlights the bad fit between the shapes of the nut and the slot in the table. Moving on to the third one. We again have a similar problem. All nuts well-defined shape. The table, not a very good shape. And then the fourth one, same problem. To correct this problem, we'll first note that from the ANSI ASME ISO standards for table dimensions that utilize a 5 8 inch and 16 millimeter slot and will accept standard T-slot nuts for those slot sizes, there are very specific dimensions and specific shapes for the slot in the table. Those dimensions are shown where my finger is located and when those dimensions are machined into the table they will accept standard 5 eighths inch and 16 millimeter T-slot nuts. The resultant shape will look like a very nice T so that the bearing surface where the T-nut pulls against at the top of C1 and on the other side will be flat and mesh with the bearing surface on the T-slot nut for maximum holding power when clamping to the table. To obtain that slot a standard milling cutter can be used. Let's take a look at that. To obtain the standard T-slot shape and the dimensions, I've printed out a sheet from McMaster Carr which shows a high-speed T-slot end mill. The dimensions that the end mill will produce are one and a quarter inch for the cutter diameter, 0.484 for the cutter thickness, and when that cutter moves along and through the slot to make the slot, 
the T-slot will end up looking like is shown in the diagram, the picture, with my finger. And those are the dimensions that are required for standard 5 8 and 16 millimeter T-slot nuts. I also wanted to show that there is one other correction that needs to be made to the table. The width of the slot on all four slots on both tables that I've received is 0.730 inches. The standard calls for the maximum size of that width to be 0 0.688 inches. So there needs to be an adjustment to the casting so that this width can be machined to 0.688 and that will then result in compliance with the standard for the width and then with the shape being generated by the milling cutter will result in compliance with the shape. The end result will be four beautiful slots in the table which will set the machine's table and remaining structure off nicely because everything on the table that the user will encounter will be nicely machined surfaces where mating is going to take place.